Hey gang, it's the Maniac K1GMM. Uh, I've got the uh, 75 meter mag loop going, uh, hooked into the station. Um, I'll try and keep this brief. I'll show you how it's configured. Uh, we'll get to that afterwards, but right now, uh, I figured I'd, I'd show you this. It's kind of interesting. I have an eight, a 75 meter Moxon rectangle up in the air, about 60 feet. Not high enough, but I'll tell you what. Uh, those things have roughly 7.5 dBi gain. This is the 75 meter modular uh, coiled magnetic loop. I'll show it to you. It's, it's the same loop I, I have on my uh, YouTube page. So I figured I'd show you what's going on here. Listening to a station here, uh, there's a little bit of QSB going on. But I'm going to flip back and forth between the beam, the 7.5 dBi Moxon, and the magnetic loop. I think you'll find this interesting. Okay. So, and what I'm using is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, uh, this is the MFJ Matchmaker. This produces a pulse uh, noise, and that's how you tune it. I'll show you what you want to do is you want to look on your pan adapter for that dip right there and if you're on lower side um, you bring that to the upper edge if you're on lower side band in the reverse you want that dip right there and I use a motor drive uh, this controls the motor drive right here on the magnetic loop out in the yard okay so I'm gonna kick this uh, matchmaker off and that it's nice because you don't have to put a carrier out you don't have to stress the radio or anything uh, neat little tool highly recommended for magnetic loop tuning uh, makes life very easy very quick uh, okay so shoot okay so we're gonna flip it and we're gonna go to the mox on here we go. Going back. It's a magnetic loop. You can see the QSB is a little, little heavier. Trying to get him on the magnetic loop. Of course, the gain of the beam, substantial gain over uh, uh, over the magnetic loop. Going back to the hex beam. I'm sorry, the uh, Moxon. This is the Moxon rectangle. You can see the QSB is pretty rapid, pretty severe. So let's go back to the magnetic loop. So it looks like uh, on peaks, QX, QSB is a little heavier. Going back to the hex, or I'm sorry, the Moxon. So it looks like about 5, 10 dB, uh, about anywhere from 10 to 15 dB difference. Going back to the magnetic loop. Mox on. Enough of a difference. This is the magnetic loop. Back to the Mox on. Magnetic loop. Mox on. Interesting, isn't it? Anybody who says that these antennas don't work are full of crap. They're pre they're pretty remarkable. I have a ten to one hundred puff capacitor on there. Uh, so uh, the gain of the beam. They say beams will open the band sooner and close band later. Uh, yes, they will. 
but uh, for an HOA type system antenna, the uh, I'll show you something else too. Uh, of course, I'm going to switch to the magnetic loop. Here we go. Okay, that's that's where the magnetic loop is sitting. Very high Q, as you can tell. go back to the Moxon. You'll notice that the static crashing, the noise on the band is much less with, with the loop as well. Okay, we'll get outside to show you what's going on. Okay, there she blows. Um, what I have are three loops on here. It's for 80, 80 meters, 75 meters. Um, what I can do is I can flip, see if I can show you this, I can flip this over to this side if I'm running on 40 meters. So it puts this right smack in the middle and I found this helps a lot uh, to be able to turn this around, bring, bring this loop from this side over to this side so it, it tends to equal out a couple. I will be flipping this over completely. Um, I'll basically be putting the capacitor and everything on the bottom because I need to weatherproof it. I'm going to run it here at the house, I think, on the station and get rid of the Cobra, which is up there. Moxon's out in the front yard over there. Um, so that's basically what's going on with that. Uh, pretty easy antenna uh, to construct. Um, again, that is a Comet 10 to 100 puff capacitor on it. Uh, and this is, this is a real hack job right now. I'm in the process of tuning it, so it's not done. I've um, been playing with it, and when I flip it, it's gonna, I'm sure it's going to have to be retuned. I'm also going to, I'm going to probably, I need to find a better location for it, and then uh, I may put it up in the backyard, but I'm thinking about putting some wire screen down underneath it thought about putting it on the house roof but and that's a metal roof and I hear that is gangbusters if you do that but I don't think that thing would ever survive in a nor'easter 100 mile an hour winds ain't happening it's too expensive an antenna to get destroyed too uh, so there you go hope you enjoy I uh, figured I'd dem just do a quick little dash she ain't done uh, like I said I've got to do a lot of tuning um, and once I spin it 180 degrees, uh, that's probably going to change a lot of things. I don't know. I haven't done it yet, so we'll see. 7-3, thanks for watching. The